it was early evening and I could hear a baby possum call. As a wildlife carer, it's a noise that you just don't forget. I wanted to try and reunite the possum with its mum that night, really hoping that she would come back when she heard him call. And by about 11 o'clock in the evening, she hadn't come, so I decided it was probably best that we go to bed and I bring him in to the warmth and get him some food. I set up my wildlife camera with the motion detection on and the second it went off, it was mum. Why they got separated, it could be a few reasons, but the, the best part is that she came back. Ran downstairs with the baby and I put him on the fence as close as I could get to her without booking her off, but it was too far away. He couldn't navigate back to her and she was not sure what was happening. So I slowly went up and moved him a little bit closer to her. He was so glad to be back with mum. It's like, oh, don't worry about me, we just rescued you for the night. No, he wanted his mum. Being able to so quickly and successfully see them reunited and watch him just scramble to get back to his mum was honestly the most amazing experience I think I've had as a wildlife carer. Even after they'd left, I kept my wildlife camera on and I was able to capture them later that night and could see that baby was still safe in mom's pouch. I've seen them return quite a lot over the past three months. I got to see him go from a pouch baby to a back rider. I still see the pair of them come back for a little bit of food most nights. I want them to be able to find their own food and not have to rely on humans. So once we get into summer and food is a lot more available, the baby will be a full adult and I can then reduce that support feeding and encourage them to look after themselves. Through development and expansion of our homes, we've taken over theirs. They're our native wildlife and it's our responsibility as well to look after them.